Topaz Photo AI gets a new update. This is version 3.0.2. They've corrected the issue where when you send a RAW file from Lightroom Classic to Topaz Photo AI, it now returns as a RAW file. That is fixed. We're going to check that out today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'm so excited to tell you that Topaz Photo AI, with this latest update, version 3.0.2, Topaz have corrected the issue where when we would send a RAW file from Lightroom Classic into Topaz Photo AI, it was returning back as a TIFF file, and we didn't like that. They've corrected that. Now, when you send a RAW file into Photo AI... It will come back as a raw file. So that is really good news. And we're going to check that out today. Now, here's something else that is really nice about sending raw files into Photo AI. Did you know that you could put them in a collection and they will return back into that collection? That is a really cool feature of Topaz Photo AI. And you'll notice here I have this collection called Lightroom Classic Raw Workflow. So what I'll do with this collection, I'll send these three images over to Photo AI and denoise them and sharpen them and I'll bring them back into Lightroom. You'll see that they will be raw files and also they'll come back into this collection which is really cool. Once I get over to Topaz Photo AI, I'll show you how to make sure you'll have that capability of using collections in Lightroom with Topaz Photo AI. Now as I said, I'm working from this collection today and all you need to do at this point if you want to send all these images in to Photo AI, just do a Command or Control A to select all the images. Now, you don't have to send your images from a collection, but I think it makes it really nice, especially if you want to be more organized with what images you are sending into Topaz Photo AI. It makes sense, but you could work from your actual folders in Lightroom and send your images that way too. If you saw my last week's video on the workaround for this issue, well, you don't need to use that anymore. So, now what we'll do is we'll come up here to File, click on File, and find Plugin Extras, and then find Process with Topaz Photo AI. Click on that. That'll open up Topaz Photo AI. And here we are inside of Topaz Photo AI. It's running Autopilot on the first image here, and it will use Autopilot settings for all the images if you don't change anything over here. Now you could change things like I could click on Raw Denoise and adjust my strength and my minor de-blur. I can choose raw, normal, or raw strong. I'm just going to leave it on autopilot. I just want this video to be short today, but a lot of times I will come in and tweak things. If you come down and hover over each image, you can see like this image has autopilot. If I hover over the second image, it will have autopilot and the third will have autopilot. If you just want to use autopilot for all three images, just click select all. Then they'll all get the autopilot setting. If you want to have that ability to send back the images to a collection as well as the original file folder, all you need to do is come up and click on Topaz Photo AI, click on your preferences, and then click on external editors and you'll see this Lightroom Classic plugin. Place processed images in the original images collection. Just toggle that on. Now I'm sure this would work with Windows as well as Mac. I am on a Mac but this is what you would do. Just toggle that on and click apply. Mine's already on so I'm just going to click cancel. Now I'm going to come and click on add enhancement. You do have the ability to add adjust lighting or balance color to your raw files. However, if you do that, you will not send your image back as a raw file. It will come back as a TIFF. Just wanted to let you know. So if you want to come back as a raw file, don't add adjust lighting or balance color. Now at this point, I have select all checked on. So all three images will be processed out using autopilot because I have not changed anything for any of the images. So all I need to do is export three images to Lightroom Classic. Click on that. And as you can see, I'll leave this in real time. It's processing the images and it's working really quickly here. I'm really surprised how quick this works now. Now it takes a little bit of time on the second and third image because it has to run autopilot on that first. I believe that's what's happening. So it takes a little bit of time for that. And then you'll see here on the next image, as soon as it starts, you'll also notice a little bit of a lag after it starts to do its processing. It's going to pause there for a second and then it will 
add the autopilot setting to it, and then it'll go ahead and finish out the processing. So all in all, it's not that bad. And it's just about done. And as soon as it's done here, we will be returned back to Lightroom Classic. But notice all the files are DNG. They're DNGs returning back to Lightroom. They're raw files. And here we are back in Lightroom Classic. It will be adding those images back to this collection. As you can see right now, now I have six images here in this collection, which is really cool. Whenever I want to batch process a bunch of images from Lightroom into Photo AI, I like to work with collections. It helps keep you organized. Now here's the first image, the original RAW file. And if I click on Develop, you'll notice I have adjustments on it, and I'm using a linear profile. This is what I really appreciate about bringing a raw file back into Lightroom because if you bring a TIFF file in you can't use a linear profile and a linear profile is a big part of my editing process. When I use the TK9 plugin for Photoshop I always like to start with a linear profile on my images. And now I'll click on the second image which is the result that came back from Topaz Photo AI. And as you can see all the adjustments have been added to it and I'm using a linear profile which is cool. Here's the next image, the CR2 file, and again, it has been edited, and now I will click on the result from Topaz Photo AI, and as you can see, my adjustments are on there as well, as well as this third image. This is the raw file, and this is the result from Topaz Photo AI with the exact same adjustments on it, so that's pretty cool, so your adjustments will get added back. So I'm so glad they fix this issue. We were able to do this before, but now we're able to do it again. And I think this problem occurred because they wanted to give people the ability to add adjust lighting or balancing out the color adjustments to raw files. But when you bring them back, they come back as TIFFs. And some of you, I know I myself didn't like that because I want to use a linear profile and I can't do that with a TIFF file. So this is fixed. If you're happy about this, let me know in the comments section below that they got this fixed. You know, Topaz listened to your complaints and issues that you're having with Topaz Photo AI, and they do work on this stuff. So I got to applaud Topaz for taking care of their users. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this image. It was shot at ISO 2000, so let me zoom in right here. This is the original CR2, and this is the Topaz Photo AI result. As you can see, it's sharper and the noise has been removed, so that's really cool. And now for my workflow, if I want to work in this image, I can go ahead and send it into Photoshop and resume editing. By the way, if you want to see all the fixes in this new update, I'll show you what you can do. With Topaz Photo AI open, go up and click on Help, and you'll find Release Notes. And if you want to see where they're heading with this product, you can click on Product Roadmap to see what changes and improvements they'll be making in the future. But click on release notes and then just click on the latest update, which is 3.0.2. And then you could see all the fixes that they've done or any additions to this update. Well, there it is, everyone. We could send out an image into Topaz Photo AI as a raw file and return it back as a raw file. And that is good news. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon, click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.